today I'm going to show you how to build a billiard ball cleaner for under $30. Hey everybody, welcome to Learn Billiards. I'm Eddie Altman, your PBIA instructor. Today we're going to be... Alright, so before we begin, I just want to show you how dirty this cue ball really is. As you can see, all those spots all over the cue ball. Um, this is an Aramith magnetic cue ball used on bar tables, coin-op tables. So that green logo in the basically the top right on the cue ball, that's actually imprinted on the cue ball, so that's not a dirt spot. But you can see all around there how dirty the cue ball really is. So let's go ahead and place this cue ball along with um, some other balls in the homemade ball washer and see how it turns out. Normally I would take some solution, put it on a ball, rub it in. Once it gets a little haze, take my lint-free cloth, turn it over, and polish it up and it works really well. Nothing wrong with that, but it's very time consuming and I'll be honest with you, halfway through your wrist and your hand just start hurting you. So I've seen some online, yes, there's some fancy models out there, you know, if you have some woodworking skills, you could build a really nice one, you know, a wood box. Same principle here though, um, using the same actual buffer. So me personally, I found this to be the least expensive way and it works really, really well. As I showed you previously, um, the cue ball, you saw up close how dirty it is. All right, so for the actual components, all I did was I got a, a Lowe's bucket. You go ahead and see, I'm probably around $4. And I bought a piece of um, an entrance mat, you know, to wipe your feet on when you're entering the house. Happened to catch it for four bucks. So, so far, it's $8 invested. I cut down the material to fit, you know, my needs. And then also, you just go ahead and get a buffer. Um, the one I have here is different than this one's a battery operated one. But at Harbor Freight, and I've used this one before and it works very, very well. Harbor Freight has a $20 car buffer. And then with the 20% coupon, you're at 16 bucks out the door. So it's a great deal. So $16 and your $8, you're at $24 and you have a complete setup. So let's go ahead, I take my buffer. Now I notched a hole in the side so I could get to my on off switch. If you use an electric one, you just leave the switch locked on, plug it into your outlet. When you're done, you can unplug it. So let's go ahead and get this set up in here. I just drop mine in. And as you can see, now I have a brand new buffer pad and I'm also gonna do a close up because you'll be amazed at how much dirt comes off the balls, even when they look like they're clean. So here's the setup and let's go ahead and begin. All right, so the current setup will hold 11 billiard balls. So. I don't know if you can see it. I'm using Armith Billiard Ball Cleaner. And go ahead, as the directions say, shake up the bottle. Gonna go ahead and you put about a dime size on each ball to start it out. And just place it back in there. And remember, um, our main comparison is gonna be that cue ball. So go ahead. Put a drop on each one. Almost done. Now the cue ball might actually take a little bit more uh, cleaning. Might have to run it through the cycle twice or just put a little bit more solution on there. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and turn my switch on. I have to reach down in here, so bear with me a second. Now I'm gonna place it on the floor so it makes less noise. All right, now we got it going. Run this for about 15 minutes. You can see how all those balls are spinning. It's fairly quiet. As you can see, all the balls are spinning in all directions. The carpet on the sides is helping clean as well. And then the buffer pad on the bottom. So like I said, we'll let this run for about 15 minutes and then we'll check to see how it is. All right, uh, 15 minutes is up. 
let's go ahead and take a look at these balls. Now I have to say, I mean, all those spots are gone. There's one little speckle where if I added a little bit more solution, ran it again, or actually buffed that spot out by hand, it would be totally fine. But you could see how well it truly cleaned the balls. Now I'm going to do a close-up on these so you could actually see the comparison. All right, so here is the actual cue ball. You can see how clean this cue ball is. All those spots, totally gone. Here's the 14 ball. Just to get an idea, you can see how well it's polished. Really high gloss, nice sheen. Here's the 11 ball. You can see how well that turned out. I mean, it's so bright, you could actually see the reflection from the light that I'm using on my camera. But again, the main comparison was this cue ball. So you could see how clean this came out. So I have to say, for under $30, cost me $28. I have to say, the product itself, you know, building this little do-it-yourself kit is well worth the money. If you have a decent set of cue balls, you know, if you're serious about your game, the cleaner that you, the billiard balls are, the better that they're going to play on your table. So remember that. Always keep your table as clean as possible. Vacuum it weekly. And remember, always clean the pockets as well. You know, these uh, billiard balls go in and out of those pockets at least, you know, hundreds of times. So if the pockets are dirty, when the balls drop in the pockets, you take them out. You're taking the dirt from the pockets. They're on the balls. They're going to be on the table again. So to keep your table as clean as possible, remember, keep the balls as clean as possible. Keep the felt as clean as possible. And what most people forget, keep those pockets as clean as possible. Thanks again for joining me. And please hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And if you'd like to help support my channel, there's links below for Patreon and also for PayPal for any donations to help keep in this channel going. Um, all these things that I do, all the reviews, I pay out of my pocket for all, all the cues, billiard accessories, whatever it may be. Um, I do it not to make any money, but it's the love of the game and it's my true passion. So I'm very happy that I'm able to bring you all these reviews and lessons. So again, I uh, greatly appreciate any support so I can continue to bring you more and more product reviews. Thanks again, and I hope to see you real soon.